welcome uh, welcome to all in uh, my today's uh, virtual class okay uh, are you all listening to me well is my voice audible yes yes sir and is the screen sharing also visible the screen sharing is it visible yes sir okay okay yes, sir. okay then we'll start okay we'll start we'll do today uh, about the phone phoneme and allophone okay in our previous class we did about uh, the differences between phonetics and phonology okay phonetics and phonology um, as i told you before they uh, uh, are uh, the branches of linguistics to study about speech sounds okay one branch studies speech sounds generally that is phonetics and another branch studies speech sounds um, in a particular way okay that is what that is phonology okay that is known as phonology okay and this speech sounds okay this speech sounds has the features of what has uh, uh, the speech sound has the feature of there's a phone phoneme and allophone as well okay and what is phone what is phoneme and what is allophone are studied here in uh, that's a here phone phoneme and allophone okay in my previous uh, class in our physical class okay i also uh, have given you the notes about phone phoneme and allophone to the note form only the definition of the terms phone phoneme and allophone has been uh, given there in your physical class as well okay actually phone phoneme and allophone they are related to what related to phonology okay actually phone refers to the smallest unit of language phoneme is the smallest meaningful unit of language okay phone may or may not be meaningful okay but phoneme is what meaningful but and allophone is what allophone is the variant form of uh, phoneme of a phoneme okay the same phoneme has different let's say variants being based on different uh, environment okay if the environmental uh, let's say uh, variant of a phoneme is known as what of a phoneme is known as allophone okay allophone that's why allophone is the variant form okay variant form of a phoneme okay phone is the minimal unit that we uh, let's say discrete uh, from uh, the continuum of a speech from the continuum of a speech if you if you can if you let's say um, try to segment segment a smallest possible sound that becomes what that becomes or that is what that is a phone okay phone now i like to move to the concept here okay this is also for your uh, for um a short answer uh, perspective okay in the examination on short answer question uh, will be asked from this 2.2 okay what is phone then okay i'll describe what phone is okay phone is what a phone is a minimal unit of sound okay it is a minimal unit of sound minimal means a smallest unit of sound okay smallest unit of sound that we uh, discrete uh, from a continuum of a speech okay it is a smallest a minimal unit of sound a smallest um, unit of sound okay and it is the physical unit which we can see in the structure of of any language okay it is the physical unit which we can see in the structure of any language okay this is a physical unit that we can see it okay physical unit we can see it in the structure of any language for example now you need to be here clear from the example okay for example the word pin okay the word pin here p i n p okay it is a word in english the word p i n p in pa e n is composed of three distinct phones okay three distinct phones these three distinct phones are what pa e n n okay the word pin is composed of three distinct phones phones pa e n n okay pa in the phones are the phones are kept 
or they are enclosed in what? In these square brackets. You have to use the square brackets here. Okay, square brackets for E and N. Okay, this um, the uh, three distinct forms of for E N no, are that's a, um, here organized together to make the word what to make the word pin. Okay, pin. Okay. Now let's say the word pin. The word the same word pin. Okay, may of course, may of course be realized as a may. This is may. The word uh, P I N pin may of course be realized as a, let's say here <clears throat> uh, the same word. Let's say pin may. This is not my. This is here may. Okay, may of course be realized as a, how? Okay. May of course be realized as uh, realized as pa e n na pin. Okay, we can also say pin here. Okay, pin. For example, 10, 10, just like 10, 10. Pin may also be, may of course be realized as what? Pin. Okay, pin. Where the phones will be what? Where the phones will be pa. E and now here the phones are what in mm, P I and pin in the dictionary transcription this P I and here pin K P E and no are the different phones that we can hear in a uh, little um, is a is a let's say different segments okay there is a, a P E and no uh, they are um, Composed and what they are composed, and the word pin is made here in pin. Okay, but here the word pin may, of course, be realized. We can also, some let's say, um, uh, I mean, the, the native speakers they share what for P I N pin, they share what pin. Okay, pin. Okay, this pa becoming pa, pa. Okay, pa, e, and na, where the points will be what pa, e, and na. Okay, now both of them, whether you produce it as pin or whether you produce it as pin. Okay, both of them are what? Both of them are phones here. Pa, pa, e, na, and pa, pa, e, na. Okay, they are what? They are the physical units. Physical units. That's why they are physical units that we can realize them. Okay. And now say, so a phone in phonology is the smallest possible segment of sound. Okay, so it was abstracted from the continuum of speech. Okay, that's why in conclusion, what we can say is that a phone in phonology is the smallest possible segment of sound. Okay, it is the smallest possible segment of sound that we can abstract from the continuum of speech. Okay, from the chain of speech, from mm, the continuum of speech, that you, if you, let's say, discrete, uh, if there is one segment that you can abstract, okay, uh, that is known as what? That is known as um, a phone, okay, phone. Okay, so phone is the smallest perceptible discrete segment of sound in a stream of speech. Okay, in a stream of, in a continuum of speech, in a stream of a speech, okay, in a fluency of speech, from the fluency of speech, from the stream of speech, if you can check out, there's your own sound segment, that discrete segment of sound, that perceptible discrete segment of sound becomes what? It becomes a phone. Okay, in this way, we do about a phone. That's why a phone is enclosed, as we told before, a phone is enclosed in square brackets. Okay, you have to use square brackets to uh, enclose the uh, phones. Okay, phones. Okay, clear? Okay, next one, <coughs> let's say, uh, is a phoneme. Okay, we'll move to a phoneme now. Okay, phoneme. Now, phoneme, uh, is also uh, the distinctive unit of sound. It is the minimal unit of sound, okay? but it is distinctive. It is meaningful. Okay, distinctive here means what? It is the minimal or the smallest meaningful unit of sound. The smallest or it is the minimal distinctive unit of sound. Means it is the smallest meaningful or distinctive unit of sound. Phoneme. 
okay that is they change the meaning of two words okay when a phoneme is changed then the meaning of the word is also changed okay that's why phonemes change the meaning of two words okay two words now how they are phoneme then we are in let's say p i n uh, uh, pin pin or pin okay if you say uh, let's say pin unexpected sound unexpected pin or or let's say if you say p i n pin or t e n ten or t e n ten okay there there is no change of meaning in phone okay but in phoneme particles when a sound is changed then the meaning is also changed okay meaning is changed okay thus the initial sounds now see the sounds the initial sounds pa and ba okay the initial sounds of pa and ba in pin and bin here pa and ba in pin and bin here in pin and bin in pin and in bin there is um, what there these two words are different only in let's say one sound here we have pa and here we have ba the pin and bin are what they are distinctive they are meaningful because one means one thing and another means another thing okay here pin means one thing and bin means another thing that's which are distinctive which are meaningful and are the two separate and they are what they are the two separate phonemes pa and ba okay when we let's say have to say for phoneme then at that time we have to enclose the phonemes in square uh, sorry in uh, let's say um, slashes Okay, in slashes, in slant lines, in slant lines or slashes, we have to enclose them in slashes. Okay, the pa and ba is enclosed in, let's say, in slashes here, and ba is also uh, here enclosed in slashes. Okay, pa or ba, we can enclose them in bracket because they are phonemes and they change the meaning of the words. And there is the um, only one sound is changed, and because of the uh, sound. The meaning is also changed. That's why they are two different to separate uh, phonemes here. Okay, pin and bin. You have to remember the examples as well. You have to define it by giving examples. Okay, phonemes occur in contrastive distribution. Okay, phonemes occur in contrastive distribution. Okay, why they are in contrastive distribution? In the sense that they change the meaning of words. Okay, they occur in contrastive distribution the distribution is contrastive one contrasts in meaning with the other that is pa contrast pa and bo are different because pin and bin are different words okay they are contrastive okay in i n i n is the same only bo and po are here what different and they uh, bring the change in what they bring the change in meaning this pa and but the change of a Pa and ba bring the change in meaning. That's why they are said to be in what contrastive distribution, okay? Because they change the meaning of words. Okay. If the words are different, now in another word that you can say, if the words are different in only on, in only one sound segment, and if this brings a change brings the change in in meaning, it is known as what? It is known as phoneme. Okay, that's only one sound segment is changed. Okay, here in pin we have changed pa to ba, and and the word is what bin. Okay, if this brings the change in meaning, okay, this has brought what the change in meaning here pin and bin. It is known as what it is known as phoneme. That's why this uh, sound pa and ba are here. What here phonemes? Okay. And also they can be identified by forming the minimal pairs. Okay? We can easily identify phonemes by forming minimal pairs. Okay, the smallest pairs like, like let's say, pin, bean, tin, chin, jean, chin, keen, queen, teen. Okay, we can have only what only one sound is different here. Okay, in pin and bin, po and po are different. In tin and chin, okay, tin and chin, keto and cho are different. To, cho, tin, chin, jin, shin. 
ज श ओके ज श क किन क्वीन क व क व क्वीन थिन व थ ओके थिन थिन थ ई न क्वीन व ई न ओके व्हेयर द से प हेयर प ब ट स सी एच इज व्हाट च ज ज श क व एन थ ओके हेयर प ब ट च ज श ओके श क व एन थ एंड सेक्रा आर अल फोलिम्स ओके दिस टाइप ऑफ लेट्स से वे ऑफ मेकिंग वर्ड बाय चेंजिंग वन साउंड इज नोन एज वाटर फार्मिंग मिनिमल पेयर ओके वी कैन फॉर्म मिनिमल पेयर ओके पेयर सो लाइक इन दिस पिन बिन चिन चिन ओके इन दिस वे यू कैन गिव द एग्जांपल्स ओके एंड दे आर व्हाट दे आर रेज फोनेम्स ओके नाउ नेक्स्ट वन इज व्हाट देयर आर ऑल टुगेदर हाउ मेनी 24 कंसोनेंट फोनेम्स एंड 20 वोवेल फोनेम्स इन इंग्लिश Okay, they can say the same. The sound system of English. Okay, uh, English has forty-four sound system. Okay, and these forty-four sound systems are known as what? The phonemes. Okay, phonemes. Now, <clears throat> uh, okay, have you finished the capping then? Can I no, sir. To... No. Okay, go on. No, sir. Okay, go on capping uh, first. Okay, phoneme. Uh, on phoneme. What is it? Now we have got uh, the concept of allophone. Okay, we also discussed about allophone in our uh, previous class as well. Okay, what allophone is? I give you the example from there. Uh, ta, ta, okay, ta, and ta are the different allophones of what? Of the sound, the phoneme. Is the phoneme ta? Okay, ta has got different allophones. Allophones are the phonetic variants. Phonetic variants of a phoneme. The same phoneme. The same phoneme. For example, is pa. Sometimes it is pa. Sometimes it is fa. Ta. Sometimes it is ta. Sometimes it is what? Ta. Okay, ka. Sometimes it is ka, and sometimes it is ka. Okay, this type of Variant of the same phoneme, the variant forms of the same phoneme is known as what? Allophone. Okay, allophone. Okay, can I move ahead? Yes, sir. Okay. Okay. Now let's not talk about allophone. We'll finish it today. Okay, allophone. Allophones are the phonetic variants of a phoneme. Okay, the same same phoneme, uh, same phoneme might have different variants. Okay, the different variant forms of the uh, same phoneme is known as what allophone. Okay, allophone, and let's say they are never distinctive and are hard in, they are hard in pronunciation. Okay, they are never distinctive. Okay, they are never distinctive. They are uh, not meaningful. Okay, they are never distinctive when. We have to use the variant forms. These two variants form give the same meaning. Okay, and they are hard in pronunciation when we pronounce them. That's why they are known as the phonetic variants. Okay, phonetic variants means they are phonetic means they are hard in pronunciation. Okay, they are variants means they are different forms. Okay, they are different forms of the same phoneme. Okay, okay, and they don't change the meaning of words. Okay, there is no change in the um, there there is no change in the meaning of the words. Okay, that is whether you say ten or it is ten. Okay, the meaning remains what the meaning remains the same. Okay, they are say they are said to be in complement. They are said to be in complement distribution. Okay, they are said to be in complementary. Uh, Distribution. They are said to be in um, okay. They are said to be in complementary uh, 
distribution okay not in contrasted distribution they come in what complementary distribution in uh, phonemes okay we um, said that phonemes come in come in uh, let's say uh, they come in uh, Okay, uh, good. Ijma is considering visible? Yes? Yes, sir. Okay, okay, okay. They have come, uh, that's why phones they come in what? They come in complementary distribution, okay? The phonemes come in uh, contrasted distribution, contrasted distribution, okay? One contrast um, uh, with other, but come in, uh, the for elephants they come in what they come in complementary distribution that is when one occurs another doesn't in the position let's say where one sound one let's say um, type of pronunciation occurs another type of pronunciation doesn't occur there okay so that's it to be in let's say complementary distribution okay for example pa in pin and spin Okay, the same sound for of in the word spin as p i n p n and s p i n s p n is different. Okay, how they are different? Okay, the former pa, the former, the former means the first one. This is here in p i n p n. Okay, this is word pa. Okay, pa p n here is pa. Okay, pa. Okay, the former pa it is aspirated. The former pa is aspirated and the latter latter means the next one here in spin okay spin pa is on aspirated okay here pa is on aspirated okay that's why pa and pa are the two different uh elephants of the same phoneme pa okay the pa is the phoneme here the phoneme pa and pa this pa and this pa are what this pa and pa are elephants Okay, in this way, we need to about uh, elephant. So, spirited pa and on spirited pa are the two non distinctive, uh, are the two non distinctive elephants, elephants which occur in fixed linguistic environment. Okay, in fixed linguistic environment. So, let's say here, uh, there. Are two non-distinctive, let's say, elephants. Elephants, uh, elephants, which occur in what? Mm, which occur in fixed linguistic environment. The linguistic environment for them is fixed. That is, that is how you can uh, let's say find out the linguistic environment here. Okay, how? That is, pa becomes what? This pa becomes a fa. Word initially before vowel. Word initially, word initially before vowel. If pa comes anywhere other than word initially before vowel, of if there's a pa, ta, ka come after sa sound, after sa sound. Okay, after sa sound, then at that time, pa is what? Pa is pa. It is not aspirated. Okay, that's why they have got a fixed linguistic environment. In this way, we'll do about elephant. Elephant. Finished, coming? Did you finish? Yes, sir. Okay. Okay. Now, okay. Uh, we have a very few minutes left. Okay. And tomorrow, we'll do about the organs of speech. Okay. The organs of speech, uh, we uh, uh, have already done it in our previous uh, classes as well. That's why you can, uh, you need to know here the figure of organs of speech. Okay, you'll see them as your homework. Okay, uh, the figures of uh, organs okay, of sir. speech, the figure. Okay, you will see them. And let's say uh, here, uh, we have got, uh, okay. Uh, there's a phone, uh, phoneme, and allophone. The concept of the phone, phonemes, and allophone today and tomorrow we'll do about the figure of organs of speech. Okay, uh, and this much uh, today. And I like to stop my uh, 
um, screen sharing here. Okay.